Hi guys, good morning. Uh, I just wanted to uh, make a few comments on the potential campaign by Bong Bong Marcos, former Senator Bong Bong Marcos, as President of the Republic of the Philippines. I've just been looking at social media this morning and I've seen several news agencies in the Philippines who have also been bringing up the Marcos era, if you like. And of course, their coverage seems to be rather biased. A lot of them are talking about the Marcos era. They're talking about the um, uh, what's happening in those times and the fact that they're saying the economy was very bad and they were sharing the Guinness Book of Records on the uh, um, alleged corruption by the previous President Marcos. Now, you know, I've got to admit, I wasn't alive. Well, at least I wasn't around in those times. Uh, I didn't really um, uh, know anything about uh, Marcos. I didn't really know anything about the Marcos era. Um, but what I can say is this, you know, the problem is there's a lot of fake news out there. There's a lot of biased news. And, you know, I don't think it's the duty of the press or the right of the press to be biased in any way. The way that I understood it is that the press should be impartial. All the press should do is to report the news. Now, this is where I see there's an issue. If Bong Bong Marcos was to run as president of the Republic of the Philippines, would he get a fair campaign? You know, he's just got as much right as any other candidate to run as president. You know, the way I see it, is that anyone, well, as far as I know, as far as I understand, anyone who can read and write, a Filipino citizen, is allowed to um, stand for President of the Republic of the Philippines. So this means BBM has just as much right as anybody else to stand as President. Doesn't mean that everybody's going to vote for him, doesn't mean that everyone's going to agree with him, but even so, he has a right to vote. Now, Bong Bong Marcos is not his father. Whatever people think about the Marcos era, whatever people think about that time, I'm not going to comment on it because I don't have any information. I don't know what happened in that time. It's not for me to say. I will remain impartial. You know, the fact is that I would, any candidate who's vying for president of the Philippines. You need to look at what they've achieved. You need to look at how they are as a public speaker. You need to look at what they can do for the country. And this is what I believe uh, should happen in this case. But I think that BBM is already at a disadvantage from the Philippine press, which I see as unfair. You know, I don't think it's fair that um, everyone's bringing up the Marcos era. Everyone's... Um, basically already kind of putting a nail in the coffin before he's even uh, run as president or before he's even officially um, declared his candidacy, uh, which I think is most unfair. You know, I think there needs to be somebody monitoring the press in the Philippines. I think somebody needs to oversee press in the Philippines to make sure that their coverage isn't biased and it is Im impartial. Uh, you know, that wouldn't happen in, 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 in other countries. That wouldn't happen in the UK, you know. It, during election time, everyone has to have a fair uh, crack of the whip. Everyone has to have an equal amount of coverage. And I do worry that any campaign that BBM mounts uh, is going to be skew-whiffed, if you like, or is going to be, he's going to be an ad unfair disadvantage due to uh, biased media uh, bringing up um, uh, stuff in the past, you know, in the time of the Marcos era was the time before social media, the time before Facebook, the time before any of these things existed, which meant it was very much harder to share news. It was very much uh, more difficult to uh, um, fully uh, see what was happening in the Philippines at the time because there wasn't the benefit of the social media. You know, I can't comment on that era because I wasn't around at that time. But all I can say is that this political candidate, Bongbong Marcos, should have an equal opportunity, should have the same 
chances as any other candidate. And I believe, sadly, in the Philippines, <clears throat> there is going to be some bias against him. And sadly, in the Philippines, the coverage is going to be, uh, uh, if you like, tainted. All the yellow press, if you like, is clearly going to bring up the past and clearly going to run a smear campaign against BBM should he decide to run. Anyway, uh, that's all I have to say. Uh, I was just a little bit surprised this morning, not one, not two, but three Philippine uh, media outlets uh, were all trying to bring up that particular era and talk, talking about the Marcos era. And I don't think that's um, appropriate. You know, you can't deny what's out there already. Uh, you can't deny the news that's out there already. But I think at least people should give any candidate, whether they, if they decide to run, should give any candidate a fair chance. And I do believe that if the press keep on going back to the Marcos era, uh, if, if the press keep on going back to that time, I don't believe this will give BBM a fair chance to run. Now, what can I say about Bong Bong Marcos? Uh, he's a very seasoned politician who's very, very clearly uh, experienced uh, and, um, you know, I believe that he, he uh, from watching the interview that he did with Tony Gonzaga, um, I really do believe that he uh, has a lot to say. Um, he really wants the Philippines to be uh, proud again, uh, which I think is a re really good thing. He wants Filipinos to be stand up and to be proud of who they are. That was the main message that I saw coming out of that interview, which I think is... Uh, so, so, so uh, important. You know, it's not a time for Filipinos to be embarrassed about who they are. Uh, it's not a time for Filipinos to be embarrassed to say that they're Filipino when they're at work. You know, I've seen so many uh, Filipinos who maybe don't want to talk about the Philippines, who talk about corruption, who say their country's poor, who call their country a third world country. But, you know, the fact is, I believe that Filipinos should be proud. And I do like the fact that Bong Bong Marcos is clearly proud of his country. And he wants all Filipinos to be proud of their country, to be proud of who they are. How can the Philippines develop? How can the Philippines go in the right direction if there are sadly some Filipinos who are embarrassed embarrassed about their own country, uh, embarrassed about their own people. This is not the way forward. You know, there's so many wonderful Filipinos out there. Christ, you know, we've even got a NASA engineer who I had the opportunity to interview um, who helped uh, build the Mars landing capsules. You know, this is the the strength of the Filipinos, how clever they are, how resourceful they are. And I know that BBM recognises that and I'd like to pay credit to him for his stance, for his support of Filipinos and for his comments, if you like, that the Filipino people should be proud. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Uh, I hope it's going to be a clean and fair election and I hope that everyone has an equal opportunity and I hope nobody is, if you like, in some way disadvantaged by the press. You know, of course, there's nothing wrong in the media looking at the issues and discussing the issues. But if they want to put a certain narrative without looking at both sides of the argument, I don't think that's fair. I challenge the press in the Philippines. Why not interview the supporters of Bong Bong Marcos? Why not interview the supporters of the Marcos family? Why go back to that time and talk about their version of the news when they haven't given the other side a chance to talk or they haven't given the other side a chance to be interviewed? Why doesn't the front page of the Manila Bulletin, the Philippine Daily Inquirer, why don't they feature somebody who is a strong supporter of Marcos? That would be uh, really a, a revelation and that would be what I call fair press. Anyway, guys, thanks very much for watching. Best wishes.